Okay, so I thought I would drop in these photos for you guys just to show you what I was dealing with this week. This is the part of my scrap room right now that it was driving me nuts. Um, every time I would walk in, I might trip on something or kick it with my feet, you know, um, and I just would lose motivation. So this is what I was dealing with. And you'll see from the video that um, I think I've done a good job. <laughs> so this is the other side. Again, more stuff that was piling up. A lot of this was also from me organizing. You can see some of the little plastic bins. I was using that to organize stuff. So, But I've cleaned up a good portion of this. So please stay tuned to the rest of the video. Hi everyone, Sarah here. Welcome to episode eight, I believe, of Use It or Lose It. Um, I'm pretty excited about this week. <laughs> this is my messy desk. Uh, I've been doing some coloring, been uh, coloring up some Easter images, just wanted to play with some stamps and I'm trying out um, a new paper that I picked up, the B Paper Company. Um, it's the Artist Marker Pad, and I believe this was only actually like $5.95 for 30 sheets. And it's kind of like the Copic marker paper, but it feels a little bit thicker. And um, I'll actually show in another video for you guys, I'll do some coloring on it to show you there's less bleeding. So it actually is really, really good. So whatever, <laughs> that's that part of use it or lose it. So um, this part of my room is still a mess, but this is where I create and I am a messy creator. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to slowly turn you guys around and show you the progress that I have on my craft room. So I'm going to show this is Jonathan's spot over here. He's got a couple of stuffies and everything. Um, I don't want to blind you guys with the light. And nothing has changed up there. That's still all my little shelves for storage. And then as we move over here, super excited to show you guys this. Okay, so nothing really has changed on there. Um, I did go through all my embellishments um, right up here in the DMC thread bins. Uh, it looks the same, but it's actually not because this row was fully to the full height up here too. So I think I've gotten rid of, um, or I have them in my D stash, like five containers and some other stuff because I um, went through and filled them in, relabeled them, stuff like that. And then again, I have papers and laces and ribbons. And then all of these bins down here, there's like two of them are full of envelopes. Two of them are tins. There's lace, stickers, all kinds of stuff. And you guys are not going to believe this. Oh my God, look at the floor. Ah, I found the carpet. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> so I do still have um, underneath that, I was given some reams of just color copy paper and some manila envelopes in boxes from work when we did our move. So those are shoved underneath there all the way to the end. And then this basket here is finished projects. This is envelopes and cards, and this is pre-cut cards and envelopes in there too. So those are stuff that's ready to go to make cards. And then this is Jonathan's dance area. <laughs> He's dancing in the hallway right now. It feels so much better to have all that space cleared out. I can walk in and not trip on anything when I walk in. It's awesome. And I will admit that I bribed my children to carry it down to the basement for me. <laughs> so I haven't gotten rid of everything. It's just actually in the basement. I'm going to get it all organized and everything to do my own little crafty garage sale in my house. So yeah. All right. So I'm going to move over here and spin you guys around. There's not much awesomeness on the other side. Okay. So this side over here um, is somewhat the same. I have gone through these items. Um, those two over there are laces and ribbons. And then there's um, chipboard and balsa boxes. You, I do have my 
newly organized 12 by 12 paper there. And then um, this one in the front has envelopes in packages. And then there's another bin of laces and ribbons. This is just empty. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. So then I have my cart for my Kia. My chair is just over there. <laughs> okay, so in the corner is kind of my mess right now. I'll just move closer over here. I have a footstool that we keep in here. Uh, mostly because Jonathan can sit on it sometimes. He has his own chair though. Um, so those are all my scraps right there. Yeah, that is all the scrappiness that I have right now. And then in there's cards and stuff that I've been working on. Those are my drop it off bins. And then I did organize some 12 by 12 paper back there. The 12 by 12 pads that are on the shelf, on the bottom shelf. And then that's pretty much it. And then back over here, this is the other side of my desk where I have all my stamps and my uh, dies that are all organized in those buckets and then pretty much whatever I'm working on and some uh, glitter that I have left. And then I do have a couple of bins in the deep dark underneath my desk there. That's 12 by 12 solid and glitter. And in the back there is um, more stamps, I believe. I have to go through those. So that is it. All right. Hope you guys are getting organized and using, losing all the stuff that you have. <laughs> Please leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day.